All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our generative AI course. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. And tonight, I'm going to dive directly into the notebook and see exactly what we're going over. And then I'll dive into the notes to go over explaining that stuff. So this is the method we use here to actually transport our prompt to our GPT 3.5 Turbo model. So this is, you see here, we got response equals client chat completions dot create. This is the model we're sending it to. This is the message we send into the model. We, we the role as a user and the content is the prompt as you can recall this is the prompt here that we're sending over this is the prompt that we're sending with the information inside of the prompt so this is everything we're going to send over to the chat gbt model and we did successfully send it over well the instructor sent it over i couldn't because as you can see let me get and run this for you don't forget we are still connected to the open ai website so this is the error that we're still going to get here but everything is running smoothly so when we do get those open source models we'll be able to follow the same process and the same steps and uh, to be able to pull it off on our own so yeah, those are the steps right there that we took and then i just uh, wrote down the steps here that we took to actually clean the data up response it's supposed to be response here we fixed that response dot choices response dot choices zero index zero index dot message zero index dot message that content zero index dot message dot content and this is going to bring uh, it's the variable we saved it to output now this is going to bring back our content from the message that we got over more clean and uh, more readable than it comes over raw so we have it just like this is going to be like a jumble of information not broken down just to get just the information with everything picked off of it this is just bring the content back and this is bring the content back formatted then we imported the json then we did a json dot loads loaded the output that we created here as you can see the output equals response dot choices zero index dot message that content and we actually ran that and that brought our information back as a json type file so we can read it even better so with that done we actually created a function here we didn't run it yet we just created it because i'm going to pick it up tomorrow from this location here but we created a function here because we're going to actually attempt to create a function and run it so we don't have to use the chat completions this uh found it for you really quickly so we're going to try to mimic this exact where did it go I was just like, yeah we're going to try to mimic this here using our own function that's what we actually doing the module called function calling so instead of having to use this client.chat.completions.create we're actually going to create our own function and call it and we should be able to perform the same kind of task that we perform with the chat completions but again once we get to those open source models we'll be able to actually run everything on our own so we can start playing around with it ourselves and these are the notes we took we did take a lot of notes tonight because it was a lot let me show you those really quickly i'm not reading any of it because it's just going over everything i just explained to you but yeah this is everything that we actually did uh going over step by step you can see the responses here modeled prompts and you see how we wrote the code out before i brought it over to the notebook where did i go right there so yeah that's everything that we're doing so we're still moving forward and of course i will keep you posted every step of the way for now this is the python poppy and you guys stay gucci